Oh, I was about to say, it looks like it's clouding up here. We're supposed to get, they say we're going to get some bad storms tonight and tomorrow, but I don't believe it. Oh, uh, they say for us here, it'll be tomorrow. We're supposed oh, yeah. to get some uh, storms, thunderstorms. I think uh, they put up where I'm at is a cat two, category two out of uh, five. But it's pretty much like clockwork. Every let's, we got the Masters golf tournament going on this week, and every year, without failure, it rains at least two, two or three days during that week. That happens here when we have uh, golf tournaments. Also, I mean, if you go through a dry spell, no every time carnival comes, it rains. I ain't worried about no carnival. <laughs> that ain't nothing but a money bracket. I hate to say it. I don't want that. Thank you. Jesus. What's this crap, Yana? Did he get lost? What happened? <laughs> huh? I'm here. Are you okay. Let's say it. It ain't just the bulldog; it's the bushcrafties too. <laughs> well, okay, I got you on the TV, and I just uh, turn my phone on, and on TV it says, "Open the YouTube mobile app." <laughs> no. Oh, <laughs> I am. Uh, Where are you at, Jeff? <laughs> Do you know where you are right now? I have no. I'm up on the moon, I think. <laughs> All right, the that's a good start. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even find me up on here. Damn. Ain't that a shame? You're okay. not up there? Yeah, there you are right there. Yeah, I'm right there, but I ain't right here. <laughs> I should have done had all this crap done. It's the uh, right. side effects of the eclipse. Is that what it is? Possibly. We must be having a year long eclipse then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, now I'm right. You reckon? <laughs> no. I'm on my left state of mind right now. <laughs> What well, what do you expect? It is hump day. There, I had to do that. That is true. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm going to do some shout outs here. Uh, shout hello, out. Vester, Dagmar, Southern Lady, and Miss Grace Johnson. T.N. Twister, B. Charming, Bubble Bibble. I got it right. Uh -huh. Dagmar. Dagmar King, that is. I hope each and every one has had a good and dry day. Yeah. It's been hit, hit and miss here. Good evening, Miss Lake Files. It's okay. been in here for the last three days. Yeah, about morning time here every day this week. I did get the front front lawn mode though Monday before it came down too much. Well, Dixie took my lawn more privileges away from me. <laughs> <laughs> What we having for supper, Lake Files? Do anybody have anything to say tonight? Because truly, I'm not being into it. I have really no idea what's going on, except for what I told Bushcraft and what backstage, and I can't bring it up in here. <laughs> well, 
I'll give you a tidbit that nobody's put no nobody knows about. Well, I'm sure people know about it, but that they snuck snuck in during uh, when the eclipse is coming over. Oh, okay. FBI released the unclassified files of uh, Ashley person. I don't want to say her full name because oh, it's, her. It's the the lady from uh, last Jason. name starts with a B. Yeah, J six. Okay. Uh, the the one that took the hit and is not here no more. They released okay. her file. They released a released a bunch of her files. These are they unclassified them and everything. Um. Yeah, it's a good thing to go read. Uh, I think there's like 69 pages. Good God. Mm -hmm. Well, now, did they release any video of it? Well, that's been released uh, for the okay. last three years. <laughs> because it's, it's it's been, been all over the place for that many, that, that amount of time. Well, now, I know two things that, uh, oh, I can, even if I could say his name, I cannot pronounce it correctly. But he is supposed to be kicked out of office, so to speak. All that has passed. And there is other files coming out on Junior that there is a good possibility, and I'm talking 90%, that he may be housed up by the uh, federals. Yeah, or the that's, state. that's what they said the last time he went to court and he, he got a slap on a wrist. Yeah, you're right, you're right. I mean, you know, if you got money and if you got power, ain't nothing going to happen to you. And, you know, the president approves that right there. And yes, I know what I said. Fried chicken, huh? Oh, no, 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 Jeff, shut up, shut up, shut up. Don't even get started. We went the whole time Monday and not mentioned nothing about it. Let's see if... It's too late. It's too late. You, know, you done said it. You okay. asked what was... What was she yeah, I know. I asked. Okay, fried chicken, fries, broccoli, carrots. <laughs> And using Lowry's season. Hey. All right, y'all. I got to go. I got to go get me some of this stuff. Where's it at? <laughs> <laughs> it's upstate. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> we'll be there in a minute. <laughs> yeah. We'll take leftovers. <laughs> I can uh, look. Yeah, what you got anything to say? <laughs> well, I know one thing you would never know how upset people can get until you put out some cones and tell them that they can't come to this area while we're working. Oh, yes, uh, I can too. I've worked on the road crew before. Man, we had to change out a bunch of uh exterior lights at a, one of our local CVS's today, yeah. so. I brought every cone we had, caution tape, because I already know how people are. Man, Especially people was cussing at us, wanting to run over the cones, asking us, could we please move so we they could get through? Oh, man. And, you know, I, I'm going to say this, and please, I mean no harm. The elderly people are the first ones. Because Shoot, but, believe it or not, it was the young kids that was texting and driving, not paying no attention. And then when they hit our cones, then they want to get mad at us. Why'd you put those in the middle of the road? 
Why Even the workers at the CVS knew that the customers was being a jerk because that the head uh, pharmacist came out and he said, well, we're, we're going to get ready to order some lunch for the workers at CVS. We want to get y'all something. I said, oh, I appreciate where y'all going. He said, we're going to order some Chick-fil-A. I said, well, go right ahead. I'll take one. I want a number one. <laughs> yeah. I said, whatever y'all get. I said, that ain't hard to please. And they said they was going to Chick-fil-A, so that made it even simpler. Now you dog on right. Nothing but chicken. <laughs> we uh been my man and wife been wanting a milkshake for a pretty good while. Around here, Sonics has got the best milkshake the only place for the money. Yeah. For the money, okay. The only place. I mean, uh, it's like what? Oh, it's thirty-two ounce cup. Milkshake. Well, they pull in the McDonald's, their milkshake machine is broke. <laughs> wow. But, but <laughs> they got blast up in there. Men and wife said, I right, will take one. Dude, I'm going to tell you what. And I will admit, all the prices has gone up. I don't care what you get, the prices have gone up. Seven dollars a piece. That's good, though. I don't think it was worth seven dollars. I like good. it. Probably about. Five. Well, what what did you get? We got a blast. I got a strawberry, and she got a vanilla. Huh. And trust me, you could not turn this cup upside down <laughs> and it fall out. And you couldn't drink through a straw. No, nah, hell no. Nah. <laughs> So can you see me going down the road with a two-mile spoon, digging in that cup, getting uh, ice cream to eat? Just the one that ran over your cones. <laughs> now we know. Ice cream. You was too busy having a blast. That's what it was. <laughs> hey. Uh, yes. And as bad as I hate to say it, I want another one. Think pretty good. <laughs> well, see, we was on our way to see our grandmother that day. Well, it, it takes us from the house about an hour, about an hour, maybe 15 minutes to get from here to there. She ate hers before we got there, so she wouldn't have to share. I didn't even get <laughs> half mine done. <laughs> And mm -hmm. when you got cup, when you got your grand youngins coming up, you got to share, no doubt about it. You know. So I think I got about eight bites out of my <laughs> grand youngins got the rest over half a cup. The two <laughs> smallest ones. <laughs> so but you know, hey, it's all good. What grand young is for, right? Oh, yeah. And Dixie you know. didn't share. No, she didn't. I was eating on mine. Because she <laughs> ate hers. <laughs> that was good. But, oh, and I did, I did get to talk, you know, to my other grandson. When one of the grandsons wasn't there. He was out feeling around, I guess. Yeah. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Or should I say historic? <laughs> but uh, me and my next to the oldest grandson got talking. He's what? 16, 17. 17. All right. He is fixing to buy his first car. I'm not going to say what it is. But we got to talking about cars. And he is into muscle cars. I did not know that. And he asked me what my favorite muscle car was. And I told him, I said, I was a Ford man, you know, coming up. I said, but I've been looking at the body styles of each car. And if I had to go and get a muscle car, between a 1970 and a 72 Chevelle Super Sport. 
is what I'd want with the 396 in it, four speed. But I'd have to pull that four speed out and put a six speed in it. He pulled it up on his um, telephone. He said, that is a nice car. He said, if you find one, let's work on it together. I told him, I said, I can't even do the lug nut on one no more. He said, you get the car, you tell me what to do, and I'll do it. And I said, all right. So now I'm looking for a Chevelle between 70 and a 72. And for me to get a 1972 Chevelle, that's going to be damn near impossible. That's the one everybody wants. Rare. My buddy's got a Chevelle. He's worth fixing on. I don't know if it's a 69 or a 70. I could be wrong. I think it's one of those two years. Really? Well, if he's got a 70, I guarantee you he's got some money in his yard out there. A uh, 67, they okay? I mean, I wouldn't turn one down. I'm not positive about the 68 to 69. I can't put the uh, image in my head what they are. Okay, wait a minute, 67. It's got four wheels. Four wheels in the motor? Yeah. Oh, I know what that looks like now. <laughs> <laughs> but I've seen a, uh, my 70 Monte Carlo, no motor transmission for 3000 Good. But, but no motor. And stuff. Yeah. Susie D, you've never driven an eight cylinder before. I, gr I grew up on V8 and rear wheel drive. I can maneuver a rear wheel drive vehicle better than I can a front wheel drive. Oh, yeah. You know, especially on uh, dirt road. <laughs> oh my God, man! You bringing back some good old days now. We're going up a dirt road, doing about thirty <laughs> miles an hour, and do a one eighty, and freak the people yeah. out with you. Are you be fish tailing from one end to the other? It kind of reminds me. I, I was. Uh, got, this old lady was telling telling her his probably grandson. He was on the cell his cell phone. <laughs> and he's in the guessing her his his grandmother says, "Boy, back in back in my day, we could uh, slam the phone down and hang up on somebody that we didn't want." <laughs> <Yeah. learn." laughs> And if need be, pull it out of the wall. <laughs> Come get your goat out of my garden. <laughs> you, you, you do that now. You do that now, and uh, you just lost the thousand dollar phone. <laughs> <laughs> Slam your phone down. Ah, <laughs> uh, you remember the Prince Albert joke, right? The, the who? Prince, Prince Albert. Albert. Oh, Prince Albert in a can. Yeah. <laughs> Well, see, Pop rolled his cigarettes. <laughs> and <laughs> the only thing he would smoke was Prince Albert. And he said he couldn't find Prince Albert in a can no more. <laughs> they was fading him out at that time. <laughs> I said, let me call up and I'll see what I can do. When I dialed the numbers, I was being serious. You know, I told him <laughs> that, you know, this ain't a joke, you know, and why I was doing it. And two of them said, no, they don't sell Prince Albert the can no more. <laughs> I called this one company up 
And, uh, I, you know, I told him I got into it and everything. And I asked, I said, do y'all sell Prince Albert in the can? And he said, hold on, let me look. He said, yeah, I got about three of them. Man, I couldn't resist. <laughs> <laughs> three, go let him out. He's going to die. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, like that. That old man got the laughing. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> he said you had right to hear it. it probably not anymore but back then they probably heard it all the time oh yeah yeah you know like that <laughs> <laughs> but i mean running <laughs> yeah <laughs> right <laughs> dude i loved it before caller id come out <laughs> but i will tell you this I caught my daughter about 3 a.m. in the morning. Her and her friends was making prank phone calls. And one of them called me back. And I could hear my my daughter and her guest in the next room laughing. And I said, ma'am, I said, I think I know what happened. I apologize. I got up and went in there. <laughs> I got to laughing with him. I said, y'all can't do that shit no more. There's caller ID. <laughs> well, you, you can still do it. I mean, how can I jump one of my own youngins for something I used to do too? <laughs> hey, Camo. That was a bunch of them went around that time. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, <laughs> jokes on the phone. Oh Lord! I forgot to turn mic on. Huh? Yeah, you used to spam. You used to prank call people. Now you just get spam calls. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't know where to pick it up or not. <laughs> Which crap is that, you? Hello. That's bushcraft. Oh, hell no. <laughs> Hello, Waffle House. Can I take your order? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. It ain't nobody. Well, no, 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 no. Nuthouse head nut speaking. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. Who is this? <laughs> I just caught the voice by. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's a pretty good one. <laughs> we used to say stuff like that, and uh. I don't know if I can say this up on here or not, but the hell with it. You know, uh, County Morgue, you kill them, we slap them. <laughs> That's warming on up here. We got uh, 80s all next week, and I think it's like three of them that's high 80s, and they've even projected one day to be 90 degrees already. You got to be kidding, right? For uh, when is it? Uh, let me see. Yeah, next Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, uh, 87, 88, and 90. Good I'm not coming down there Friday. I'm gonna tell you that now. They ever heard that, um, that, um, spice black girl mama? <laughs> Oh, I'm pretty sure. Y'all, y'all heard of that spice? Uh it's so good you can slap your mama. Spice. Spice. Yeah, yeah. The seasoning, yeah. 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 <laughs> I saw that at Walmart. I was like, what? <laughs> I, used to I got it. some of it. It's pretty good. I got oh, I can't think of it right now. But my daughter and her husband turned me on to this spice. And uh we put it on shrimp down there. I'm going to tell you what. That's some of the best. Let me go get it. Y'all talk amongst yourselves. I've seen somebody doing a cooking video. 
wasn't wasn't half smart. First of all, they're uh, making shrimp. They put butter in the in the in the pan. Then they put the shrimp and was cooking it for a good while. Oh, the wow. shrimp done turned pink. Then they put big cloves of garlic in this thing and spices and everything at the end of it. <laughs> I don't know if they know that shrimp cook very fast. <laughs> yeah, you know, well, that chewy much. shrimp. Yeah. For about three minutes, and they're done. Well, they they show you when they're done. It, it, they turn pink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It ain't long at all. Oh yeah, Cajun two step. Yes, that yeah, is, I like his seasoning. Yes, it is good. Fire. And it he's got a. Fire uh, on it. It's not. I haven't oh, tried man. that flavor, but I got two of the other ones. Have you? Well, most things that. Uh, it, Tells you it's spicy. It's not really spicy. No, he's a pretty funny guy. The guy that created that season, he got a YouTube channel. He's pretty funny. Really? Yep. Uh, I think it's Stale Cracker. I think that's his name. YouTube uh, name. Never heard of him. Me? Uh. Uh-uh. Well, we don't. Watch many YouTube channels like that. Now, bay seasoning is good, okay? But uh, especially if you're having Cajun cooking and you're down to about the fifth or sixth pot of it, that's when it gets good and spicy. Oh, yeah. Damn near like, uh, well, a little bit spicier than the jalapenos. I can't think of the next spice or the pepper that's above a jalapeno. Uh, maybe, uh, what's it, a uh, uh, serrano pepper maybe? Are they hotter than, they might be hotter than a jalapeno. I got I got out of spices when jalapenos got real big. I couldn't tell you. I mean, uh, Roy now he likes one that's a little bit hotter than a jalapeno. It's a, a round pepper, like a habanero. No, 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 man. I am. Uh, I can't. No, I'm. I'm wrong. It is uh, uh, about the length of like a green bean. I'm sorry, it's not round. Jalapeno? No. No, I got them in yonder. I got one pack of them in yonder, and I can't grow enough. They won't grow down here. And uh, he makes uh, his Texas peat out of it. Like that sauce, dude, he made, he ended up making. Little Thai peppers. No, no. But he made about 10 bottles of it. Dude, that's, damn. Cayenne, that's it. Cayenne peppers. Thank you, I did that. You said no. I didn't. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, the cay- cayenne pepper. I, I don't know. I, it depends. Cayenne pepper sometimes is not not as spicy as a jalapeno. Great Jam says hello. Great Jam says hello back. Hey, like I said, back in the day, I could tear some heat up. Now, eat your stomach up. If I even smell it, I get acid reflux real bad. And well, usually, well, it's it's not the spice that that gets the acid reflux. I know, but it triggers it quicker than anything. Like fried chicken, 
Man, I love to taste the fried chicken. I can sit there. I can eat one about an hour. I'm in the bathroom. You know, and I ain't talking about, I'm talking about, I'm throwing up. Well, see, that's that's a bit different than, um, now some people think that heartburn and acid reflux are the same thing. They're no. really different things. Yeah. And I have had it so bad that it has woke me up out of my sleep and I've had to change the pillowcases. Oh, yeah. Sweating. No, no, no. I'm talking about sweating. That acid has to go somewhere. Yeah. You know. And you gotta, gotta sleep setting up all the time. Yeah. And forget about sleeping on your side. But now that Cajun two step is good. It's not what you call real spicy. I can take it's it's not a Zantac, it's an off brand name. But everybody knows what I'm talking about when I say Zantac. Yeah. I take a Zantac and then not bother me. Yeah, don't take Zantacs anymore because they're uh causes cancer. Mm -hmm. Well, it ain't just Zantac, it's it's anyway. <laughs> there's another one. Well, hell, hamburger causes cancer too. Now you say jello caused cancer back in the day. I don't care. Look, in the last four years, I don't care what it is. What it was. It, if it's bought from the store, there has been a recall on it somewhere along the line. Oh, uh, grape jams. I, I love that stuff. <laughs> What's it? Um, papaya, pineapple. Oh. Papaya. You want to talk about pineapple? I just cut one up. Was last night? Yeah. Last night? Last night. Dude, I think I got about four or five pieces left. In <laughs> I've never tried the fruit with the tahini on it. I've, I've heard people say it's good, but I haven't tried it. Yeah. Well, that's the, um, in Arizona. Um, that you get a lemon and you cut the lemon in half and there's a, there, there's a name for it, but I can't remember what the name of it is. It's a very salty, spicy, um, I think it's a plum seed that you put in the middle of the, when you cut the lemon in half, you put it in there and then you put that spice over top of it. You eat, eat the lemon like that. And then whenever it gets too too salty, you lick that seed, that seed, and it makes it not so so sour. And huh. you you pick those up for like a quarter at any uh, Mexican uh, stand or grocery store. <laughs> they huh. have them all wrapped up in uh, plastic wrap and whatnot. See, my problem is. I love any type of fruit but so far. Eat grapefruit. No, but I can't eat grapefruit. Yeah. Or drink grapefruit juice. But uh, which one is that? That looks like it's purple and then it's got over a thousand itty bitty seeds in it. Huh? Dragon fruit? I don't know. It's a fruit. Uh, purple, it I don't looks, know. It looks like when you cut it open, it's a real light green color. Green? Avocado? I don't think it's pomegranate. Avocado? I don't think it is. I've never what, ate what a dragon it? pomegranate. That's not green? Look, you no. better go let it ripen if it's green. <laughs> <laughs> kiwi, kiwi, that's it. 
The oh, keyword. Okay. okay. Keyword. Yeah. Where was you getting pink from? Hell, I don't know. No, he said it was green. And I was yeah, like, well, yeah. granted, you gotta let that thing rape it up. Yeah, I love kiwis. Dude, I'll peel them things and pop them in my mouth quick. What's that? The kiwis. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, my son eats the whole thing, the outside and everything. I, the outside is actually really good for you. The brown, hairy part. Dude, I, I ain't even getting into that one. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it, I think That's about like somebody saying they eat banana peelings, dude. Not in my house. You can eat banana peelings. Well, you go right it's here and eat all you want. You too. Fine, eat mine, but you should be putting them in your garden. What banana peelings? You eat eggshells yeah. too if you um boil. <laughs> And you're gonna see me puking too. I need to know this old guy. He would eat every fruit like that. He'd eat the peel and all bananas, uh, oranges. It didn't make a difference. He'd eat the whole thing. Yeah. No, I can't. Mm. Tomatoes will help me. How will it look? I come summertime. When homegrown tomatoes come in, <laughs> I look like a tomato. <laughs> you give me a loaf of bread, a jar of mayonnaise, salt, and pepper. <laughs> oh, my God. To me, that is heaven right there. <clears throat> and for the I people... Was, uh, I was telling... Um, needy homesteader today because she has a, a stand that she sets up out front to sells her sells eggs and stuff okay um, and she dresses them up all nice and pretty and everything put stickers and all that and i i seen this one thing on tiktok where this lady had one of those set up and um she had where the people would bring back the boxes so that that keep the the cost down and everything and right. at the on one of the shelves she had a picture frame and it said the uh, the hand of the month <laughs> and it, she, would have a, she would have a picture of whatever hen it was that produced the most eggs and she would put the hen's name in there and i thought that was the cutest little thing <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Ginger Ninja, this weather, uh, what we used to call it back in the day is pneumonia weather. It'll be real hot during the day, and at nighttime, it'll be cool. People be running around without no jacket on or shirt on, and within the next couple of days, they end up being sick. Well, you don't want to know, know what my low tonight is. 66. <laughs> well, I would, I'd probably your, low? Your, your low is our high. <laughs> yeah, for now. Let's see how this summer goes. Yeah, y'all going to be begging for 66 degrees. Well, let me rephrase that. We're going to be begging for 66 degrees before summer's over. Oh, yeah. But I've got a rain barrel out there. I got to dump out. And uh, I bought some uh, old nozzles, you know, that you drill a hole and put in there and you can drain water and hook a hose pipe up to it. I got to clean it out and everything. I'm going to build a stand for it to where I can turn it on and water my garden like that and see how that works. I don't know if it'll be enough pressure for a drill or a mist. It doesn't matter what garden get. I think I'm more scared this year of planting a garden than I am any other time. 
<laughs> but you scared for wasting all that money, doing all that time out there, and nothing grow. Well, I ne- three well, years ago, I never had that problem. Just look at it Why? this way: if you don't plant anything out there, nothing will grow. You're right. You exactly right. And three years ago, in fact, everything I planted, I don't care what it was, it grew. Period. And another way to look at it, when you're out there working on that in that garden, Dixie gets a break from you. <laughs> Hell, she can go see her sister. Ball, I care. <laughs> well, thanks a lot. No problem. Anytime. (laughs) Do you know the difference between corn and garlic? Between corn and garlic? Yeah. Who don't know the difference? Well, I know a guy that don't know the difference. Uh, I sent a, uh, telling a buddy of mine, but I, you know, I had stuff going and gardening and stuff like that. And, just send me some pictures. So I said, all right, I sent him some pictures. So <laughs> nice corn. <laughs> uh I said, man, your corn is really doing good. I've never seen anybody grow it that way. And I'm thinking, what oh, is he talking about? And I said, Where do you see corn? He said, Corn, you got corn growing in your buckets, man. I've never seen anybody grow corn in buckets. I said, That's not corn, it's garlic. <laughs> 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 he said, <laughs> I got to laughing. <laughs> I thought that was funny. Dude, I'm lost for words really. on that. I apologize. Yeah, I started questioning: Has he ever even eaten garlic or had corn before? I knew he had never grown any one of them when he said that. <laughs> I wonder if he's ever ate grilled corn. Oh, that probably would blow his mind. Just give him a garlic and tell him it's grilled corn and see what he says. Probably the only corn he's probably ever had is corn flakes. That's probably why he don't know no better. (laughs) (laughs) And nowadays it's not even corn. It's corn. Corn flakes. I apologize. I really thought everybody knew the difference between (laughs) corn and garlic. Dude, it blew my mind. I started questioning myself. Like, did I plant? Did I actually grow some corn? <laughs> oh. You run out to your garden. Hey, Where's this corn at? <laughs> yeah. What size? What size buckets did you grow your corn in? Well, I want to know. Man, it'd have to be. Uh, you'd have to have some seventy-five gallon drums. I don't know. No <laughs> I said, well, good thing we're not friends on Facebook because I almost unfriended you. (laughs) Oh, Lord. Well, is he, does he live in the city or does it, let me rephrase that. Was he raised up in the city or the country? (laughs) That's the problem. He was raised in the country. That's why I'm starting to... Maybe he was adopted. I don't know. Oh, no. I'm starting to question my friendship the more and more I think about it. <laughs> well, look at it like this. Okay. It's people like us that need to be, teach people like that. Okay? Yeah. And I'm going to leave it alone before my mouth gets me into more trouble. <laughs> But zip it. <laughs> so next year, I just might grow corn alongside my garlic and send them some pictures and really confuse them. I should have told them not. These are this is dwarf corn. What is this? Is dwarf corn? I remember I hadn't too long quit school in the ninth grade. They done a survey in New York with the uh, children, you know, who's going to school up there. Draw a picture of where milk comes from. 98% of the school district drew a bottle of milk. 
<laughs> well, that's very, not wrong. Very, very, very few drew a cow. Well, that's not wrong. No, it's not wrong, but originally, no. That's a good they're thing they didn't very, ask where chocolate milk comes from. Very, very little. <laughs> Do you, people actually go out and get milk from a cow now? Mama told me, she said, uh, you know where butter comes from? I said, no, not really. I mean, come on, I wasn't about five years old. I didn't know that. <laughs> she said, what happens is up in the mountains, when these cows fall down and they roll down the hill, that their milk gets churned like that. <laughs> you go out there, instead of milk and milk, you milk butter. You know, I believe that. <laughs> I can see Jeff. Pushing a cow down a hill. Do here, butter, butter, butter. <laughs> I plead the fifth on that one. <laughs> yeah, if you need see, to know. even Lake Miles says she saw that. It was New York <laughs> City. New York City. Hey, pecani sauce. I used to love them commercials. That one in that commercial got on my nerves so bad. If I could reach through the TV and slap somebody, he would have been one. New York City. <laughs> <laughs> no self-respecting Texan gets his salsa from New York City. Babies don't come from watermelon seeds. <laughs> Your big stomach comes from watermelon seeds. And trust me, as a kid, I ate a plenty of them. Oh, God, y'all remember That's sitting down at the like picnic this. table with your cousins <laughs> eating watermelons, and you put the seed between your fingers and pop them upside the head with it? Yeah. <laughs> but then with the days. Or cantaloupe seeds. Yep. We just you them back and forth. Yeah. Or you could sit there and get your mouth full and sound like a machine gun. <laughs> <laughs> now they're growing watermelons <laughs> without seeds. You're taking all the fun out of it. Yeah, I got some watermelon seeds up. Got started this past weekend. I'm going to try out. I got a little spot cleared off. I think should be big enough for them. Kicker melons. <laughs> you would have to bring that up, wouldn't you? <laughs> I got a couple of tires out there. I'm going to fill with dirt. And in one tire, I'm going to do watermelons. And the other one, I'm going to do cantaloupes. And I'm going to I'm gonna be straight up about it. I wouldn't turn my hand over to either one of them, watermelon or cantaloupe. And it seems like every time I grow watermelons and go pick one, when I put that knife in it, it pops open. I don't have to do no cutting. Why is that? It's a juicy watermelon. Man, yeah. I got uh I planted some a uh, variety called Crimson Red and another one called uh Georgia Rattlesnake. Oh uh, rattlesnake ones yeah. are good. I want ones that's got the lines on it. That's the yeah, wa so watermelon. The Georgia rattlesnake oh, it's got rattlesnake. lines on it. Okay. They got the best taste to it. I'm sorry. Yeah, the, the ones that are not GMO'd to death. Exactly. We used to uh, go and, and put a hole in them at the top, just big enough to stick uh -huh. a bottle in there. And uh -huh. pull, the, pull the cork off and put a a couple of bottles of tequila in there and you, you seal it back up and put it back in the refrigerator for a couple of days. And, oh man, that's some of 
good uh, watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that type of watermelon will give you four wheel drive. <laughs> You get down on your hands and knees and you can go anywhere. Now, the question is, who eat, who puts salt on their watermelon? Give me a one. And who does not put a two in there? Because straight I know, up. I know some people that do. I don't. Well, if you have to, you got a bad watermelon. Um, no, not really. Not because really. It, make, it makes it sweeter. It, I can eat it both ways, but I prefer a little bit of salt on mine. I really do. My granddaddy was like that. He'd put salt on watermelon and cantaloupe. Yeah. I know. Well, now, you and me, Charming, are alike. One, sometimes if it's not very tasty. Yeah, that's what I always heard. It's You put salt on there because it brings out the, the sweetness. Pappy two bars, I do the exact same thing. Yeah, I've heard people do that too. And it's, yeah. I'll tell you something. What you may not have ever tried or heard of, get you a glass of buttermilk yeah. and put, <laughs> I don't care what uh, uh, bush, put a little salt in it. That gives it a fresher taste. I love buttermilk, but I don't like to drink it. I like to cook with it. Oh, my God. Yeah. I got uh, buttermilk in the it, fridge. I won't drink it. I've got buttermilk in the refrigerator right now. I am so determined to go in there and show y'all. I love straight buttermilk out of the jug. That is fine. Well, I've got buttermilk too, but I, I used it for uh, uh, biscuits the other day. Biscuits, cakes, uh, pies. What was that other thing? Oh, the cornbread. Yeah, cornbread. Yes. Go in there and make you a buttermilk milkshake. No, nah, that's okay. <laughs> That'd be a real blast. You know what? <laughs> I have never, you know, that may be, you may be on something. Huh? I think it's illegal in all 50 states. I wouldn't advise it. <laughs> <laughs> but you're not drinking it. <laughs> I've never heard of it. I ain't never heard of it either, but he may be on to something there. I'm going to no, have to I'm try that. I'm going to take it on YouTube. That... <laughs> Buttermilk flavored ice cream. Huh. I don't eat none. Oh. I wouldn't be surprised. They got about every flavor you could think of now. <laughs> yeah, really. But you know, when it comes to biscuits, I've made biscuits with water. I've made uh, with milk. And I've also done it with buttermilk. The best biscuits are made with buttermilk. Oh, yeah. And I fried agree. chicken. So oh, yeah. chicken in, in buttermilk yeah. and spices. Mm -hmm. oh, yes, sir. <laughs> Talking about good. Oh, no. <laughs> There's people up here how they make fried chicken and stuff. Well, Say, we dip it in the eggs and eggs. Eggs. Eggs and flour, and then fry it. Like <laughs> you don't do nothing to the chicken. <laughs> what do you do to the chicken? Well, see, like, oh boy! No, you soak that chicken in buttermilk. I'm gonna say for an hour, okay, to get it good and to get the good taste to it. You know, then you take it out and you dredge it in flour. Then you uh, drop it in uh, some grease, you know, like grandma used to do it. But now, Ninja Ninja, I agree. A buttermilk pie. Oh, Lord. That's oh, good. yeah. I could eat a whole one right now. Yes, I can too. 
Even uh, buttermilk in the cornbread gives it a better taste. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You know, instead of it, it makes it. I don't know. Yeah, you're it's right. Make, you, can, um, you can tell you, the difference if you cook cook one with milk and one with buttermilk. You could tell the difference. Big Probably time. just by the color of it too. Just make your own buttermilk. <laughs> Yeah. Make your own buttermilk. Vinegar and whatever. That ain't got the same taste. Um, Vinegar and milk. I mean, it may be buttermilk, but I've tried it. it, it Vinegar and buttermilk. Just don't have the same taste. Sour the milk. Yeah. Well, good evening, Miss Bluegrass, sweetheart. I hope you are having or have had a great day today. I've heard you could make buttermilk like that. I've never done it, done it myself. Well, you use vinegar too. Vinegar. I, I don't use vinegar. I use lemon juice. You use either one, vinegar yeah. or lemon juice. Yeah. But I mean, between the, between vinegar and lemon juice, I think lemon juice gives it a better taste. But ain't neither one of them that great. It ain't like the Just real thing. A little bit close to it. It's good uh, in a pinch if you ain't got the real thing. Right, right. Now, Pappy Two Bears, he says, ever use sour buttermilk before it turns chunky? No, I've not. It don't last that long in this house. I'm sorry. I bought a half a gallon on the second. Have not made no biscuits or cornbread. And even I could probably. And half of it's already gone. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, half of it's gone. Yeah. I didn't think it was open. <laughs> oh, I opened it up the first day it walked in this house. Oh, really? Yes. <clears throat> But it, you know, everybody's got their own taste. You know, you just cook the uh, the way you want. I cook the correct way. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the time, some of the time. <clears throat> now. Yeah. The the commercial or not the commercial, but the the little videos, the shorts. When people said we're gonna make this homemade today, and yeah. there's nothing homemade of anything. It's all it, it, they even have a uh, the cut up onions from from Walmart. They don't even cut them up themselves. Oh, the pre cut ones. Stuff, it's open in cans, and you and you put it in the crock pot. Oh, we made it. No, you just dumped a bunch of stuff in a pot. Yeah. Making something at home is different than homemade. Exactly. Yeah. Now, Jenny says, Mom used to sit and eat a glass of cornbread and buttermilk. Mm. Now, I will admit, Not me. I've never <laughs> ate cornbread and buttermilk, but I have tore up some cornbread and milk. Oh, yeah. Same here. I don't say buttermilk cornbread. No, I ain't daddy sweet. did. Yeah, daddy did. I ate sweet milk and buttermilk. Do you put sugar in your cornbread when you're making it? It depends. It really does. I've done it with both, and depending on how much, if I don't use but a little bit, I kind of like it better than I do without. But the Mama, she did when she cooked cornbread. She didn't put sugar in it, but both yeah. of my grandmothers did. Phyllis didn't hire either. She didn't. Yeah, I noticed some some do, and uh, uh, Megan, she said, "Well, we don't do the we don't do the sugar." <laughs> we, What's we up, like Tennessee? Without the sugar. <laughs> yeah, I never uh, used it. Well, in mine. Well, uh, I look back. I mean, now I do have a recipe 
you know, homemade cornbread. And I can do it with or without the sugar. If I go to that recipe, it's better than, oh God, any fried cornbread I've tasted. But it's like I said, everybody has their own taste. Yeah. And homemade cornbread, I don't care who makes it, is a hell of a lot better than Jeff cornbread. I was going to say, do you, do you, you count Jeff as, as homemade? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that did now. I used to love Jeff Cornbread. Okay. Don't get me wrong. But after I started searching and different recipes for cornbread, that's got to be about the worst taste of cornbread I ever tasted. Yeah. Once you, once you start making it homemade and then you go back to that, it's like, yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of yeah. like a, they try and turn it into a cake or something. Yeah. It's a corny cake. <laughs> well, all right. I'll give you a prime example. Macaroni and cheese. Let's use this. Coming up, if y'all remember, we had that uh, real thin box of, I think it was Kraft macaroni and cheese, where it had that powder. Yeah. Dude, I could sit there. Yeah. Back in the younger days, I could eat the whole box by myself. Yeah, that, then well, it was good back in the day. Yeah, back in the day. You're right. Before everything changed. Then they come out with this here Velveeta cheese, macaroni and cheese, which is good. Don't get me wrong. That is good. But it's got a lot of salt in it. It really does. I don't like it. Now, you go homemade macaroni and cheese. And um, depending on what type of cheese down south, you use. Down south. They don't do make mean? it the same up here. Really? No, no. It's Great so dry and, and oh, chewy. Which one? Uh, Great you, know, when you, you make a roux and you put, yeah, keep adding the cheese to it. Yeah, that that's mac and cheese. <laughs> now, uh you go ahead, you cook your noodles up. Uh, you go ahead and you kind of melt your cheese a little bit in your milk or whatever. And if you want real cheesy mac and cheese, you just add a little bit more cheese to it. You know. Okay. I will e e email you that recipe. And I, I will tell you, that's one of the best ones I've come across. But that's oh, my I take. I send you that one. I forget, forgot. I don't even know where that book is now. You talking about Megan? Yeah, the same one she used. Okay. Like she now, the best one. Yeah. Now, let me tell you this. My wife, when she cooks cornbread, that is the exact recipe she uses. Oh, okay. You know, and yeah, I mean, it's good. Don't get me wrong. It, but it seemed a like, weird texture when I was putting it in the pan now. <laughs> it, it did. I, I didn't think it was going to turn out because it, it was really thick. You know? <laughs> but And, and I, I use, and I, I usually don't use um um butter i i use bacon grease when i when i do mine yeah in the pan yeah and then i put it I, then i put it in the mixture to mix it up and put it back the mixture back into the the pan well now you know yourself good corn good cornbread is made in a cast iron pan i don't oh, give yeah. it say. yeah and I, you may or may not agree with me but you go ahead, you put your bacon grease in your uh, pan, you throw it in the oven to get your uh, pan hot. 
Oh yeah, really hot. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then when you pour your batter in there, you can hear it sizzle. Yeah. Then you put it back in there at whatever time, you know, it says to do it like that. And wait till it gets good and golden brown. Yeah. Then you pull it out. You plop it over into a plate or just leave it in the pan. You cut it. You grab it. You slab it down with good old butter. And then you go to town on it. Yeah. Yeah. Last yeah. time I made uh, uh, chili. That's because you, you got to have cornbread with chili. I'm not oh, going to yeah. just uh, cornbread and or beans, soup beans, yeah. as you would call them. Yeah. yeah. Me, I'm a little, well, hell, y'all know I'm a little weird anyway. <laughs> I like homemade slaw with my chili. All right. That's why I draw the line with you, buddy. <laughs> it might be good i never tried that kind of, i mean i like both i just never ate them together yeah try it one time well you know it's like this right here if you've never tried something well please don't what kind of slaw it. first of all what's that what kind of slaw homemade slaw cold slaw yeah. okay which one there's Dude. mayonnaise and there and there's the oh uh, without mayonnaise. Okay, okay. No, the no, 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 no. The Go mayonnaise ahead. I don't know would be very good in chili. <laughs> oh, but that's the way I make my coleslaw is with mayonnaise. I like the it's I like the vinegar one better. Now I'm not a big vinegar fan. I'm not neither. But I like a, a good vinegar uh, slaw. And isn't, yeah. isn't that what like uh, North Carolina and South Carolina are famous for? Is that their uh, vinegar slaw? I do put maybe, well, depending on how big of a bowl I make, I'll put about a tablespoon of vinegar and a little bit of sugar in it. And stirred up. Now, the reason for the sugar is if you go a little bit too far accidentally and get the core in it, the sugar takes out that uh, uh, bitter uh, taste. Yes, it does. That's the only reason for that. Okay. But it's got the war. I'll cut the core out and won't even put the uh, <laughs> sugar in it. You're welcome, great James. Uh, what is we, we're making up for Monday <laughs> since we didn't talk about food Monday. You're welcome anytime, just let us know. De nada. But what I'm gonna say, what North Carolina is more famous for than anything is barbecue. You give me a barbecue sandwich with slaw on it. I'm in heaven. Oh, yeah. I'll be in the hospital, but I'm in heaven. I'm in heaven before I get to the hospital. And they've got some cooks out there. I swear to God, I think they put a whole damn gallon bottle of that apple cider vinegar in it. It'll take your breath away. I don't like that. <laughs> yeah. You know where I'm coming from, what? Oh yeah, it's I'll, in the morning. Sometimes I have me a spoon of that apple cider vinegar just to keep everything percolating, and yeah, it'll about take your breath away. Uh, yeah. And here, here's a tidbit for anybody that I can't remember the name of the. It's the the famous apple cider vinegar brand name. Uh, um, mo mothers, something like Bragg's. That. Bragg's. I got some in the refrigerator. Well. <laughs> uh oh! Uh, I bought this about a year and a half ago. I forget who it is. Um, 
it's a couple and then Microsoft dude. And the, the apples they're using for it is the synth, synthetic GMO right. apples. Yeah, Briggs. So expect some of your fake uh, apple cider vinegar. It's time to start looking for another uh, brand. <laughs> well, now, I'm going yeah, to say Katie this. Perry. Katy Perry and her, and her whatever, uh, the husband or whatever it is. I don't like Katy Perry. I'm sorry. Hmm. Now, I, I, will say, I will say this, and I do remember. There was a man, I cannot remember his name, but he was, believe it or not, he was running for president at the time. He came through North Carolina and he went to a couple of barbecue festivals. The first one, nobody seen him eat barbecue. The second one, he was asked why. He flat out told him, I do not like y'all's barbecue. Uh, dude, nobody from North Carolina voted for this man. Either. <laughs> That's a quick way to get no votes. Yeah, ain't it though? Uh, Ginger Ninja, you remember what the name brand of that is? Is it the Braggs? Name Hang brand? on. I got it. Please uh, don't say Braggs. It's, 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 it sounds like Ginger Ninja knows what I'm talking about. Man, my name's Tony Chip. And they used to be about all being natural and everything. It yeah. is bright. Yeah. Wait a minute. I'll do a live shot here. Dang, uh, Dang that's sure, the kind I got. Make sure you comb your hair first. Oh, hell no. <laughs> Put a little cider vinegar on yeah. it and brace it back. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Well, goes my yeah, entire that childhood. That shit is old. Look, yeah. Well, I, um, take you a shot of it. Grape jam. Mm, do, no. do you guys make your own? I know you 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 have flavored vinegar, but uh, the apple cider vinegar. I wonder. I mean, you could make your own. Yeah, I don't know because uh, Grape Jams makes their own vinegar, their flavored vinegar. I'd like to try that. I've never done that. Yeah, it's good stuff. All right, uh, check this out. Uh, this is the ingredients uh, made from organically grown apples and contains the mother's home of origin acid and enzymes. Wait a minute. I thought that was them. Yeah, that's okay. That's you, break, you, you break it down. Uh, yeah, uh, apple cider vinegar and water. That's the ingredients. Organic apples. Uh, no fat, no sodium, and no carbohydrates. Three servings does, it, does it say it's vegan? <laughs> Did you know that vegan cows has the best steaks? That is true. Thank you, buddy. It is a true statement. Yes, it is. Let me go put this back up. What is it? <laughs> is it good? Yeah, it smells good. I don't does think. vinegar does it go outdated? Um, it can. I well, I don't. I don't know if it goes outdated. It depends. It, it's like everything else. Like technically, water can't go bad. It's just a corporation of man that messes it up. Yeah. Or, 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 or other sources, I should say. Um, <laughs> I've opened vinegar and seen uh, floaty things at the top. <laughs> so, 
So yeah, it probably could go bad. Like if you you went in the fr fridge and stuck your finger in there a couple times to get a taste. What? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you incorporate some type of bacteria or something into it. Yeah. Yeah. That still tastes pretty good. It's like it I was watching this. This been in the refrigerator. It don't take your breath away. Somebody stuck it in the refrigerator. Pour some on the ground. You might grow some apples. <laughs> oh, dude. I have got to take a picture of something and post it so y'all can see. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen it yeah, on it, Facebook. I'm going to try it. Should. Yeah, vinegar, vinegar can. Well, I th I think it's, isn't it wine? When wine goes bad, it turns into vinegar. Yeah, yeah. It's like uh, what is it? Red wine vinegar. But yeah, I, I see no reason why you could it case, wouldn't uh, turn into alcohol. Yeah. In order to turn vinegar into wine, wouldn't you have to add yeast to it? Well, there's there's natural yeast or a natural ferment that would be the same as adding yeast to it. Okay, okay. It would just be fermenting itself. It's like this uh, lady's channel I found. We she does like ones. pickling and stuff, and she's got some jars of pickle brine. She said are at least twenty years old. Oh my god! Ooh. And you know she does the whole process. You know, adds a little bit to it, tops it off. But she, yeah, she said she's got several of her jars that's older than some of her kids. <laughs> she's got young kids, you know. I bet <laughs> that's some good stuff. Oh, I'm going to go down there and sample that. Uh, uh, Kinfolk, he he said he had a had a, a bunch of wine that he was getting ready to bottle up. <laughs> oh no, uh, muscadine wine. Oh lord, some good stuff. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So I I, I bet you that fueled the fire a little bit too. Uh a few years ago, I asked. A certain person to, uh, or did he know where I can get me some muscadine wine? He said, Yeah, I'll bring you a jar up next time I come down here. I said, All right, there ain't no problem. Next time he come down here, he brought me a jar of whiskey with about 50 muscadines in it. I looked at it and I looked at him and I said, Dude, this is not muscadine wine. <laughs> Yeah, he, um, kinfolk. He ha he has the the whole orchard and everything. He has different uh, varieties of muscadines. That's why I was going to tell uh, what when it's in season, because uh, you can go right there and pick them yourself. Dude, I would damn near give a paycheck for a good muscadine vine. Um, yeah, I. If you watch watch his videos, he he tells you how much it, how much it is and everything. Yeah. Now, if I could find a place around here where they grow wild, I would tag that sucker and I would go back later on and dig it up. Just make a trip to my area. Shoot, there's plenty of wild vines. But yeah, I didn't. I always thought it was just a muscadine was a muscadine, but there's there's so many different variety types of them. Yeah, there is. I like there's over like a hundred varieties just in the south. Yeah, yeah. but I, let me tell you something real quick for people who don't eat muscadines. You keep putting them back, right? <laughs> uh, don't eat over a handful at a time. Maybe four or five. Because if you do, you better go on and make a trip to the store and invest in some toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs>
trust me, I know what I'm talking about there. That is from experience. Muscadine, it's like the like the grape of the south. It will clean. It will cleanse your insides real quick. Yeah, it's about like that uh, that wine I made. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> um, it's it's more right now. I would say it's more proof than uh, some whiskeys that they sell. Yeah. Wow. Oh man, it it was it's. It's strong. My when my son was here, I said, "You want to try some of this wine I made?" Oh, no. I'm not much of a wine drinker. <laughs> I gave him a shot and he tried it. He's "Woo! <laughs> That's a little bit more of the wine." <laughs> now the wine you go buy at the grocery store. I'm sorry, it, you, you might as well just toss it up in the air. It ain't worth a crap. But you get somebody who knows how to make wine. Oh, that that could be some of the best wine you ever tasted. Buckeye Bob, it's uh, Haas Tools now. I do have... Uh, Buckeye Bob? Really? Uh, survival them. Seeds. If, if you you give them, give them my name, you get a discount, but I, I don't know much about the company. I... From what I gather, they're a real good company. They're, you know, they really take care of their seeds to where they, they don't, uh, there's no GMOs. But I, Haas Tools is real good. Okay. Uh, I know people that's been, that went down there and, and toured the whole place. And I've interviewed the guy on, on my show. So, from what I see, he's a good guy. Oh, yeah. I, I've seen a few of his videos, and I will admit, it, uh, not that many, but he seems to be straight up and honest. Yeah, because if, if you go to, you know, a store or something, and you, and you, my tomatoes got blossom root, how can I get rid of them? They give you a spray. Oh, really? The spray don't do anything. You can't spray it on your plant and think it's going to get rid of blossom rot. Blossom rot comes from lack of calcium. That means you have to get it get it to the root to where it comes up through the plant, and then you, you get rid of the blossom rot. And he's one of the first ones I've seen that doesn't push a spray to get rid of blossom rot. rot. <laughs> okay, okay. But I, Bob, it wasn't that I was making fun of you. I've just not heard that name. And welcome to the show, sir. Or ma'am. Here we and go. Basically, the one of the best things I didn't I hadn't I didn't have blossom root rot last year. It's because uh across the way in the alley, uh they sold the place and somebody came in there and remodeled it and threw their scraps of drywall in the trash. I uh, you know I went over there and pulled and pulled the, the paper off of it and crunched up the which it's it's Jimson, which is really good calcium, and I put it in my garden and I didn't have any problems with blossom rot. Oh uh, questions. Huh. If I was to go buy a couple of bales of straw and throw it on my garden and mix it in. Would that be good for it? Or because I'm starting to hear a bunch of people say don't do it or you can do it. You have to trust a straw. Because you don't want a bunch of straw that's got seed in it. Yeah. Okay. Because you're gonna have weeds like crazy. And usually you can put the straw on top of it. It helps keep the moisture in. Right. But, but like, uh, it's not going to help your soil until it breaks down. So you need to get um, uh, some, some rabbit poop or uh, goat poop or something like that. 
dude, I got a bunch of rabbits running around out here in that area. So, if the hawks ain't done carried them off. Yeah, I got, I've got a, um, from Rural King, you can get a bag of, of straw that's doesn't have seeds. It's, it's 99.999% whatever they call it. Just be leery of some of your haze from your big box stores. You'll be like Bushcraft said, you'll be pulling more weeds than you will vegetables. <laughs> yeah. Well, I will agree. And I'm going to say this, and this is from experience. Chicken manure. You spread that on a field, you're going to have more weeds come up from that than well, anything. That's your problem right there. You're spreading on the field. You, you got to let it um, put it in a pile somewhere to where it kills everything in it. Well, it's it, like I said, it, it's, you know, it's a hot manure. Right. So if because, you, if you um, put it put it in a compost bin and mix it in with your other stuff, then once once that breaks down, that then it'll be some good stuff. Well, now when we raised chickens, okay, this was quite a few years back. Uh, between each batch, we had to go in and clean out the just uh chips and everything yeah. and the only way to get rid of it was to spread it on the fields to get rid of it. and wherever it was spread uh spread it dude i mean it's like walking through a briar patch it's like <laughs> burr rabbit walking through a briar patch yeah you know but now I didn't know about the compost or anything like that, you know. Like I said, I may know how to grow quite a few things, but I'm not really a gardener, okay? I, uh, I go out there, the dirt I got, I, Depending on the dirt, I'll plant the seed, maybe throw a little bit of fertilizer in there, depending on the dirt. I let it go. I don't put no hay or straw, well, not hay, but straw or wood chips in my gardens. Uh, nobody has well, never showed me that. You got to watch um, fresh wood chips put, putting, uh, well, um, it'll, it'll, to break uh, wood chips down, it, it actually takes nitrogen from the soil. Oh, so it does. Put wood chips, um, and I'm talking fresh. That means you know you're getting them from the guy that trims trees or something like that. Well, um, now my wood chips that I do in my shop come straight from the sawmill. It's never been. Uh, let's say sprayed okay but it has been killed and i run them through the planer or the saw i got uh, let's say saw dust you know real fine like that i don't have chips yeah and well to br to break down that that wood it takes nitrogen and if you have a nitrogen bait you know tomatoes uh, corn, beans, that it'll suck the nitrogen away from that those plants. So you have to be careful when you when you do that. Okay, that's, that's why you, that's the the purpose of a compost bin is to put those wood chips and stuff so it it'll break Go down ahead. naturally in 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 its uh, with all the food and scraps and grass clippings and all that stuff. Well, trust me. We don't have but one tree, two trees on our property. And the bad thing is our next door neighbor has got about 50 trees on his, and it seems like every leaf off of their tree comes in <laughs> our yard every year. So 
we got leaves. We got grass clippings, you know, like, yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I got one compost pile. I'm waiting to turn because I got some stuff popping up that looks like cucumbers and peppers. So <laughs> we'll wait a little bit longer. Might get some good plants out of there, hopefully. Yep. Well, you got to keep the <laughs> well, now I thought for sure I could get out and till my garden up. But it seems like here every day this week we got um, rain. I can't get out there, and you know, and I've got a fence post which is broke. The only thing holding it up is the fence. To where I've kind of accidentally, purposely hit it with a lawnmower. You know, last time it went snap. So I got to go out there and remove that one. Get that up. Keep deer out. I say the rain here is supposed to start coming in a little after midnight tonight. And rain through tomorrow lunchtime. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, are we getting a feeder band come through or are we just getting storms? Uh, I don't know. I just looked on the uh, size storm coming up through South Georgia now. Okay, now a feeder band is just a straight line of real heavy rains, lightning. Uh, a storm is like a Great big huge rain cloud. This one right here almost looks like a, almost looks hurt like a hurricane almost in a way. I was coming out of the Gulf. I guess all that warm water is fueling it. Okay, that sounds just like a regular heavy thunderstorm. Uh, the feeder bands around here is ones we got to worry about because once they cross the mountains. And where I'm located at, it will gain its strength back up before it really starts producing any tornadoes or anything. Well, we, we've we got like four or five more days of rain. <laughs> I was about to say, it looks like it's raining all night in Ohio. It's It's been, it's all week. So it's not a rainy night in Georgia. It's a rainy night in Ohio. <laughs> yep, pretty much. If you get off that midnight train to Georgia, it'll be a rainy night one here. <laughs> <laughs> I think THQ didn't say we still got what, three or four days of rain. Mm. That rain just don't get no respect at all, does it? <laughs> But you know, you know something, this time of the year, and everybody knows it, it's the rainy season. Yeah. You know, expect yeah. it. April and summer. Yeah. That, why, they came up with a, a slogan for it, so. <laughs> but, now see, this time of the year, everybody is griping because it's too rainy, it's too wet, and so forth. Come midsummer. Well, we having all more. these droughts and everything. Everybody wish, man, I wish you'd rain. <laughs> you know, I don't mind the rain this time of the year. I ain't got to water my plants. Exactly. Right. Maybe what? a tom tornado tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> I hope we get some rain because this time last year we wasn't getting hardly any rain. I used Not to be, here. Used, used to be worried about tornadoes coming through. <laughs> I don't have no tree now, so I just got the, the tree trunk in the yard. Now we in a category two. I'm tornado. still thinking about planting uh, some mushrooms in there. Well, at least it ain't snow. It's just rain now for y'all. Yeah. 
I mean, it's nice. Uh, when I run my my computer, I'm about about tempted to put the AC in because this computer warms it up 20 degrees in this room. <laughs> How big of a computer do you have in that room? It, it's the case is made out of glass, so it's classified. Well, uh, my video card alone is it runs about 170 degrees good god when, when i'm playing playing a game what that's, you need to do is go get you an old school bathtub and put that air conditioner in that room blowing right on you no a bathtub what do i need a bathtub for i said uh, <laughs> is that bathtub? Uh, yeah i said old school bathtub <laughs> you know and set your computer in it uh your computer your air conditioner in it and uh, plug it up like that in a bathtub no do you remember back in the do you remember back in the 1800s how they took baths yeah, the little metal the old horse tub. Right. Yeah. I, I consider that an old school bathtub. Okay. What <laughs> what why do I need to put the AC in there though? Because it's gonna blow out hot. Yeah, air too. yeah the water's gonna come out of your AC. Condensation. Yeah, what I got a window right here. I can just stick the AC in the window. See, you didn't tell me that before we started all this talk. <laughs> well, I was trying to why do I need a bathtub to put my AC in? See, you should have laid out with that right there. I, you know, I, I did. Put I said, I'm in my window. To put the AC in the window. That ain't what you say. <laughs> just, just don't operate a toaster and a hair dryer while you're in the bathtub. I wouldn't advise it. That could be very shocking. <laughs> <laughs> and never cut into a live electric fence either before unplugging one. That will cause your upper lip to curl real quick. <laughs> Give you a free shave. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. it would do that too. I don't drink at all, Robert. <laughs> well, maybe tea. Tea. <laughs> um, here in Ohio, well, Ohio State, you know the famous place, uh, the college I'm talking about. Uh, there, um. Jews are su suing the the college because they're get they've been getting harassed and uh, bullied and physically you know assaulted and whatnot and the, the college is not doing anything so they're suing the college you wow. know because the whole Israel and. And I I, I still don't see how people will of all the stuff that Hamas did to it doesn't make a difference who it is it, a human being they did it to other human beings and there's people following them and saying bad things about Israel <laughs> I, I again makes no sense to me uh, uh, there's a lot of things I could say about people over there that are bad and if I start talking I'm going to get taken down Zip it. <laughs> well I'm trying to say it 
is a lot of it is what they do to humans. I ain't talking about uh, animals yet, <clears throat> but yeah, yeah, I've heard some horror stories come from over there. And in my mind, I can't fathom what they do to uh, people over there. You know, but to them, it's the right thing to do. It's the way they was raised up compared to how we were raised. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, I'm on. I'm on. Yeah, it's time to change the subject because I'm fixing to let it slip up here. Let's just say, be very wary of what you eat overseas. And everywhere else. Am I still up and running? I guess. Yeah, you know, that's that's another thing, Robert. Um, uh, musky guy, and everybody should know what I mean by that. The X guy yeah. uh, says that we should be getting ready for for another nine eleven because he, in so many words, has seen stuff meaning twitter that things bad things are coming mm. i believe that i really do well you know this guy's got he, he he's 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 got his ear on uh all the internet <laughs> basically mm -hmm. so he 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 knows what's going on wherever <laughs> because he, there's place there's countries that wouldn't have internet unless it was for because of his satellite and he's got networks of this stuff all over so mm -hmm. and he owns you know twitter Father. and he, he just, just see, you can imagine how much he knows. Does he oh, also man. own TikTok? Huh? Does he also own TikTok? No. Okay. Okay. There's 140 or 120 investors in, in the United States that uh, own stocks in. Uh, TikTok. I got you. Huh. Now I have heard it said that, and y'all read in between the lines here, or the words or whatever. Within five to eight years, we're going to be outnumbered. Out, they're going to outbreed us. In other words. Because some of these guys coming over here has got two, three, and four wives. You know, and that's what they mean to do. And after I heard that, it does make a little bit of sense. What in, the, what, how in the world did bra straps come into this <laughs> conversation? Somebody have a wardrobe malfunction? <laughs> well, I will admit, I am 100% man, you know. Uh, yeah, I'm leaving that alone with watch sitting right here. I ain't going with that, no word with that. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Dick, so you want to go to the store right quick? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I used to tell my wife when I find Mumpy Roads, tighten the boots and... <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Reinforce the bra straps. <laughs> yeah. I know that. that. I mean, that word right there, it seems like it just... Through my eyes to it. I don't know <laughs> what's going on here. I used to. <laughs> well, Who's got the echo? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe it's me. Was you muted at the time? I don't think so. Huh. Oh, well. Uh, is anybody going to live tonight? I might, I might on my gaming channel. Okay. I've not heard nothing from 101 except for Monday night when he popped in. Um, he sent me pictures of the eclipse. <laughs> the ones yeah. he took. Yeah. Well, I was just wondering if he's going to be going live anytime soon. I think he said he, he's just on uh, Fridays or Saturdays now. That's all he's he's doing. Oh well, I can. Understand. Oh, he did. He did post tonight. He did. I hadn't checked. Yeah, I'd... I'm in the process of checking right now. Let me see. I didn't. I didn't know you were until. Uh, you sent a link of what was around five or five or so. Yeah, something like that. But um, I wasn't sure. I was debating. Uh, who you at? <laughs> Hell, he's lost. Oh, no wonder. <laughs> I'm on a different thing here. Hold on. Count. Yeah, that's it. I do die. Do die day. Nope. There's nothing for tonight for him. From him. Uh, no, because if he posted, he'd be one of the first three up here. And you're right, Bushcraft. He has not posted nothing. Hmm. You, okay. You might have seen. Uh, Jeff's one because they both use the same eagle sometimes. Well, now he's got a phoenix in flight with fire behind his. No, that that's your that's your your uh, logo, not your your oh. stream. I'm talking about a thumbnail. Okay. Okay. Well, now, are you going live tomorrow night or Friday that you know of? Friday, yeah. I got a guest Friday. Okay. Do you know yeah, if... It's, it's a good story, story too. Ah. Do you know if Lake Files is going live Saturday night? Saturday? Well, I'm not sure if Bigfoot's going live tomorrow night either. Oh, okay. so I don't think I've seen anything from him either. Yeah, Saturday, I don't know. Well, I know this is the time of year where everybody gets real busy in the gardens and everything. You know. 
Well, if it was so wet out, yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Lake Files is still in here. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, Lake, are y'all going live Saturday night? If I was y'all, I'd switch it to Sunday. Josh will be live tomorrow at 8. That would be okay. Dig Deep Ministries. Okay, so you will be going live tomorrow? Okay. Okay. And she uh, said we will be live Saturday. Okay. I did I did get an offer to uh talk at the Bigfoot conference over here in Salt Fork. Since since I'm friends with the Bigfoot, they want me to talk about them. Well, you and him, I forgot. I think he's what about two or three inches taller than you. But uh, you ain't that far from him. You could probably pose as a Bigfoot yourself. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, Lake. What? Since they can't do Sundays because that's a private bi a Bible study. Uh, and Monday night, you'll be going live if nothing happens. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then don't check Monday. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to call it quits for tonight because I'm running out of stuff to say. <laughs> Everybody else is running out of stuff to say. <laughs> Damn, what happened to Bushcraft? He really ran out of stuff to say. Didn't he? Man. I just wish to say, I, you, you know. Yeah. I was. Have you been teaching him about that red button what? He must yeah. have put his AC in his bathtub. <laughs> I have no idea. It just StreamYard said something went wrong. Huh. Uh, yeah. okay. I didn't lose connection. I've got connection. <laughs> well, you popped off the screen. Yeah. Matter of fact, TH2 said uh, Bushcraft out. <laughs> <laughs> then my, then my yeah, my other I'm stuff sorry. is running it didn't I didn't get disconnected or anything it's something mm -hmm. on StreamYard and uh, let me see what the servers are doing with StreamYard mm -hmm. <laughs> Harvest Mary Moon I'm going to have to get you up here one day are you willing and able to come on here uh, to come on my channel with me and possibility get embarrassed <laughs> just as much as you can embarrass me. Oh. Hey, what? You come what? up on here. I'll, I'll do my best to get lake files up here with us. What you whatting about? Where's that this time? Oh, he's on the <laughs> he down below. Wait a minute. <laughs> Were you coming off this? Wait a minute, and what? As far as I know, we're all in April the tenth. So how are they going? They check it out eleventh already. They know the future. <laughs> Wait a minute. What? What? What are you saying? All I heard was April the tenth and future. You broke up. They, it, sa it says uh, StreamYard server status. You can check out the, the status of the server that runs StreamYard. Oh. And it says April 10th, there was an issue. And it says April 11th, no incidents reported today. I don't know if I trust them. Today's Wednesday, right? Yeah, the 10th. Yeah. So they are they ahead of themselves. They already know what's going to happen. 
And, and it, it says <laughs> past incidents. So they think the eleventh is the past, and it it says the the twenty two thousand twenty four too. So when well, that th two uh, th two says maybe the server is overseas a day no, ahead it, of them. No, it's in Oregon. Damn, are they still on the leap year? <laughs> Beach armor glitch in the matrix. <laughs> I, I had never mind. Okay. I'm gonna call it a night. Everybody have a good evening and try and stay dry. If you can't, it's your fault for not taking the umbrella. <laughs> Stay tight. <laughs> and bear truth out. All right, everybody. For all of us.